your current hits the water, I guarantee it's going to hurt. That is, of course, you tell me what I want to know. The truth as well. Please don't make me do this. How far will anyone go to get the truth? Sometimes we go too far. But in order to discover the truth, we do whatever's necessary. This is my story. explained this to you several times. I was not involved with that murder. You called me here for this? Oh, come on, Paul. We all know you were with Cooper, and everyone knows he did it. And then I see you. You're not the friend I grew up with anymore. She was our friend. How could you work for such a man? He's a gangster. I know. A criminal. He's a fucking murderer. I know she was our friend. No one's more sorry about what happened to her and her fella than me. It hurts me to think that you could think that I would just murder her without a care in the world. I may work for Cooper, but there ain't no dirty work involved. Okay? You know what? I don't even know why I came here tonight. Don't call me again, do you fucking wise up? Paul. You continue to work with Martin Cooper, and I want nothing to do with you.
Oh. It's all on you. Right. Okay. you still remember me? Adam, please, listen to me. John! So, what have you got from the dead lad, eh? I didn't kill Chloe. I didn't kill her. I don't believe you killed her, but I do believe you know who did. Don't you? Maybe somebody told you once. Adam. wires attached to your fingers are connected to the generator against the wall there. Your feet are submerged in this basin of water. When the electrical current hits the water, <laughs> I guarantee you it's going to hurt. That is, of course, you tell me what I want to know. The truth as well. But Adam, I don't know anything about what happened to Chloe. I only work as a messenger for Cooper and... <laughs> What is it about Martin Cooper that would make you stay quiet? Cooper.
Yes. Cooper will kill anyone who rats on him, or fucks him over as he would call it. Please don't make me do this. I don't want- ah! You're not fucking listening, Paul. You've got bigger things to worry about than my fucking cover all duty! Fine. Have it your way. Have it again! No, wait, wait, please, I'll talk, I'll talk! No more shocks, please, no more shocks! Okay then, start talking. And I better like the answers. Your sister's boyfriend was working for Cooper and... Sean? Yes. He delivered cash to some of Cooper's more discreet customers. Yes, sir. Everything's grand. Yes. Good lad. You can go. some sort of agreement here before I continue. Excuse me? I gotta protect myself, Adam. How's about you tell me and you'd love to see another day? How does that sound? No. No? What do you mean, no? I mean, I'm not telling you another word until you accept my terms. How do I know that when I tell you what you want to know, you just won't kill me anyway? So you gotta accept my terms. Which means I walk out of here alive and won't peace. So what's it gonna be? Hey! Hey! Where are you going? Just keep quiet, Paul. You'll see. Adam! Adam!
If you don't tell me what I want to know, I'm going to cut your fucking balls off. Like, what's it going to be? Fine. I start from where you left off. You were ordered to follow Sean. I'm at the club. Bring him here and go round the back and make sure nobody sees you. Yeah, make sure nobody sees you up there either. I'll send Jack to give you a hand. And remember, whatever you fucking do, don't fuck this up. Understood, boss. You've done something, tell me what you did. I haven't done nothing, she hasn't fucking listened to me. You obviously did something. Why don't you trust me? She wasn't meant to be there, but I couldn't let Sean go either. I had no other option.
Sorry, Taker. Fuck's sake. Right, Paula, don't you be fucking careful! Jesus Christ, man! Fucked up! I know. I messed up, sir. But I. I was thinking that maybe we could just let her go. Fuck. I mean, I would keep an eye on her. What's sure. up, man? She's seen too much already. She's seen you. Say she goes to the cops and fucking mentions you, and will get back to me. Why? Because you fucking work for me. You fucked up, Paul. Well, make sure she doesn't say anything. You fucked up. Now we've got to clear this fucking mess up. Your mess. Paid for the work you done, and you still try to steal my fucking money. You made a very fucking big mistake, Sean. A very big mistake. No day, no day fucks with me, Sean. That's what you done. Your girlfriend here is gonna have to pay the price. Give us a gun! Cooper shot them. He shot them both. It was because he knew I wasn't going to do it. If Chloe hadn't have been there, it would have just been Sean. And I would have been alright with that. I'm sorry for saying the truth. I didn't mean for her to get killed. But when I knocked over that glass, I felt I had no choice. I had to take her. There was to be no witnesses. You let her die because you didn't want to go back and tell Cooper they got away. She basically died for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sorry, Anna. You brought it, Cooper. You let her die. You are just as guilty!
No. You're not going to kill me then? No. This is far from over for you, Paul. It's the end of the line for you and for Cooper. Give him back his stuff. Make sure everything's in place. Bye, Paul. We dropped him off there now. He should be on his way up to Cooper's by now, yeah. Yeah man, listen, I'm gonna have to call you back. Yeah, something's come up. Bye. Fuck. What the fuck happened to you? Where's the wallet? took me. Her brother? Yeah. You mean that, that Chloe chick? Yeah. He tortured me. He wanted me to tell him what really happened. What did you tell him, Paul? Didn't tell him the truth, did you? What the fuck did you tell him? Paul! What did you tell him? Did you mean to me? Did you tell him the truth? No! I mentioned you. Take care of this. Just to stay alive. Take care of it! I didn't tell him. It was really me. Fucking told him it was me. Why didn't you just feed him some bullshit or something? For sake. Why would you do that? Because if I told him the truth, he would have killed me right then and there. This is all your fucking fault. If you hadn't been so fucking stupid in the first place, little bitch would have been fine right now. She was your friend. Your fucking mess. And your problem to take care of. Well, what the fuck are you doing back here anyway? So I can tell you that we need to get this guy now. We need to get him before he gets us. The son of a bitch took my finger!
Where we're from. Because you've been loyal enough to me in the past. I'm going to give you exactly what you need and we'll let the boys go out and we'll get a bastard down. Okay? Thanks. Go get yourself seen about you're bleeding over the floor for fuck's sakes. No! I swear to God, I'll find you! I'll fucking leave you around the river like your sister! It doesn't matter. I recorded the conversation between you and Paul. Everyone across the time will know what you did to my sister. Unfortunately for you, you won't be there to see it. Why exactly do you mean by that? Well, you see, I decided to send you a gift cover. I couldn't find you and all that. So I decided to give it to a friend of yours to pass on to you. A friend of yours I have spent some time with recently. In fact, he should be giving it to you any second now. This is for my sister, you son of a bitch. Time? Yeah, of course. Listen, um, thanks for coming and uh, thanks for helping me get Paul. Look, just tell me what you want to say so I can get out of here. It was Paul the pill killer, not Cooper. What? Yeah, I heard the whole thing. Are, are you sure? I'm positive. I heard him say that he was going to lead them back to me. And that Cooper said that the truth could never get out and all that shit. Did you have to kill him too? Huh? Paul, did you have to kill Paul too? He killed my sister. He was in the room with Cooper. I was two birds with one stone. You wanted him dead just as much as I did. I never wanted him dead. Just thrown in jail. And I never agreed to have him Paul killed either. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Chloe was your lifelong friend, Tanya. So was Paul. That makes it even worse. He was her friend, and he betrayed her. He delivered them to Cooper. And he told me he executed them. And it was really him all along. He 
He is nothing more than a dirty, lying, snubbling bastard. And I'm not one bit sorry. Paul did change. When he started working for Cooper, he became addicted to his new life. He was willing to forget everyone and everything in his life. And in the end, he wasn't the same guy anymore. He began to go down a path that becomes hard to get off once you go down it. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is you have to let go of your hate, your anger, everything. Because if you're not careful, you're going to end up just like Paul. Because what you did last night makes you know better than him. You're going now? Very well. I got all I needed off you anyway. I guess all I can say now is uh, goodbye. See you around. Bye, Adam. That was the last time I saw her. I was sure she would never forgive me for what I did to Paul. But she's wrong. I am nothing like